You're listening to realagriculture.com. Get real and get connected. Hi, and welcome back to more audio from Real Agriculture. I'm Deborah Murphy, and a Twitter conversation earlier this spring really got me thinking. It was about raven predation in cow-calf operations. Now, ravens to me have always been scavengers and perhaps tricksters as well, but I had never thought that maybe they could become predators as well. So, I've been doing a whole lot of emailing and phone calling, and I came up with an article, which is on our site, of course, but I also had the chance to record a conversation with Dan Baber. He's a customer service representative responsible for the predation program out of Saskatchewan Crop Insurance Corporation. And towards the end of the interview, we do talk a little more specifically for Saskatchewan producers, uh, but anybody can glean some information from this that might help prevent those raven attacks on farm. So the first thing that we started out with when I was talking to Dan was simply what are some signs and symptoms that we have lost an animal to raven predation? Well usually what we've what we've seen uh, with the problems here in Saskatchewan is uh, the calves get attacked whether they're alive or or dead already. Usually they uh, they get them when the calf was just newly born. They'll peck the eyes out. They'll go at the navel. Uh, the calf isn't uh, hasn't got the energy to get up yet, or hasn't gotten up yet. So they uh, they attack them that way. Usually it's in the soft soft parts of the animal, the eyes, the navel, the rectum is usually where they they go after them. So mm-hmm. uh, that's usually with calves. Now, with, uh, if the calf is dead, uh, you'd be able to tell and see that there was no bleeding or, or such as that. If the calf was already dead and they're just scavenging, uh, usually you see that there's no blood around or anything like that. When the calf is alive, there's usually remnants of blood and at times fairly profuse bleeding because of the uh, attacks from the, from the ravens. So do, do ravens and other scavengers kind of look for minimal movement from an animal? or? Well, they do. Uh, ravens are very smart animals, uh, smart birds. Yeah. And uh, if they can uh, get the advantage on something, they definitely will. And uh, uh, if, if the, the cow doesn't uh, see the raven on the calf, they'll usually come down and, and land on the in the area behind the calf so it can't really see it. Mm-hmm. And then jump up on its back and then attack from there. So, right. Um, ha- have you seen many attacks that are? Uh, I mean, that the raven was responsible, or we have uh, over the past five years, or as long as we've had the program since April one of two thousand and ten. Uh, usually, about four percent of our losses are due to ravens. Mm-hmm. And do they get? So, co- does that gets compensation in Saskatchewan then? Yes, it does. Okay. Originally, it didn't, uh, but then when we uh, started having more problems with it, shortly after that, uh, uh, we decided that we were going to start compensating for it, and we have ever since. So. Okay. So, what are some of the ways that you tell producers that are dealing with this to prevent, help prevent attacks? The biggest uh, thing we advise the producers to do is to. Uh, make sure that if they have any dead stock in the area or or have had any, any dead animals uh, in their yard or in their corrals or, or pastures to get rid of them and get them a, a fair ways away from their animals. Any uh, a dead carcass will attract predators or scavengers, either coyotes or uh, it'll magpies, ravens right away, they find that. So that's the biggest thing that we, we advise them to do. And we also advise them if they have trouble that they uh, try to eliminate the, the ravens as quick as they can. Uh, originally when we started a program the ravens were a protected bird. Uh, they're a, a native cultural bird, bird uh, they, they say. So without uh, written permission from our environment, uh, Ministry of Environment, uh, producers weren't able to sh- 
shoot ravens on their own. Uh, we could get uh, permission from them to do it. They had to get a written permit to do it. Otherwise, you weren't allowed to. If you got caught shooting them, uh, you were in, in a, you'd get fined for it. So now in the past year, our government has looked at it and decided to take the raven off the protected list. So it's, uh, it's open now that the producer can try to eliminate them right away on their own. So. And is it, there are different um, ways that a producer can go about that, or it doesn't well, matter? It, it's pretty hard. Uh, I know there's been, usually the, the quickest way is, is by shooting them. Uh, some people have tried to poison them, uh, and that isn't a good thing either, but uh, it usually doesn't work. But usually shooting is, is the only way of getting rid of them, basically. Would, uh, would, anybody, would you have good luck, I guess, with uh, livestock guardian dogs, or do they, are they not much help when it comes to birds? No, uh, guardian dogs aren't, won't, won't help with the birds. Uh, the birds are smart. Uh, if the dogs uh, see them and chase them away, the, bir- the ravens are gonna, uh, they're gonna figure out a way to get around that dog pretty quick, and, and they usually do. Uh, the dogs uh, usually protect from other predators, coyotes, wolves, foxes, such as that. that that's what they've been bred and, and, uh, to do, and that's mainly what they do. Birds. Uh, if they see a bird uh, on on a cap or something, they'll run at it. The bird will smart enough; he'll jump up and and uh, take off. And as soon as the dog is gone again, they'll be right back on that on that animal again. So, hmm. so it it sort of varies between provinces how you can control uh, ravens or if you can, and also compensation. Who would you recommend as like the first line of contact for a producer if they suspect raven predation in their livestock? Well, their, their first contact should be with us if they have a problem with the Saskatchewan crop insurance. We've got 21 customer service offices in the province, and uh, there's a toll-free line uh, to crop insurance. They can call us, and they can advise us on what is going on. And uh, then uh, we send, some, uh, send an adjuster out to have a look to... Uh, find out what is actually going on, and uh, then we take it from there. If We also have uh, uh, predation specialists that we hire to uh, look at situations also that uh, help us in determining uh, with losses and with getting rid of predators also. So the, if the adjuster goes out and uh, determines that there is a problem, uh, they will advise that a predation specialist be sent out. The specialist will go out and and uh, see what is going on, and if they feel they have to try to eliminate the uh, problem, they will they will do so. Once again, that was Dan Baber, customer service representative responsible for the predation program with Saskatchewan Crop Insurance Corporation. You can find out more about ravens and cattle in general by heading on over to realagriculture.com and use that handy search bar in the top right hand corner. Uh, You can look up many different topics on there and hey, if we don't have what you're looking for, give us a tweet at realagriculture or you can tweet me at realag underscore Deborah or send me an email, dmurphy at realagriculture.com.